So let's go over a sales receipt in QuickBooks Online. First of all, what it is. Second, why you would use it. And third, how you would enter it correctly in QBO. First, what is a sales receipt? So a sales receipt is essentially the transaction that you would enter in QuickBooks Online to reflect that you received income from a customer. Now, why would you use a sales receipt instead of an invoice? Well, you would use a sales receipt when you receive full payment at the time of sale from that customer. You would use sales receipts instead of an invoice because the customer paid you for your services at the time that you completed those services. As opposed to an invoice, now you would use an invoice to request payment from a customer. So you would have to wait for that customer to pay you for that invoice. So how do you enter a sales receipt in QuickBooks Online? Click on the plus sign or Quick Create menu and select Sales Receipt. Choose the customer name from the list. Select the payment method. Let's say in this example that you were paid cash. We'll select cash. In the Deposit To list, we'll select cash on hand. So if you do receive cash payment from your customers, you want to make sure that you have a bank type account set up called cash on hand. Next, we'll choose the service provided to the customer from our product and service list. Update the description if we need to and enter the amount. You can charge sales tax if you need to here. So at this point, I can save and send, which means I would want to email that customer a copy of my sales receipt or I can just save and close. Let's do another example. Click on the plus sign, sales receipt, enter that customer's name, and let's say that they paid by check. So we'll choose check, enter our check number, and here instead of cash on hand, we'll choose checking, assuming that that is the only check that we deposited on that day for that customer. We'll choose the service that we provided, enter the amount, and save and close. Now let's do a third example. Plus sign, sales receipt, customer name, and let's say also that they paid by check, but that this time I'll be depositing several checks at the bank today. And instead of checking, I will select undeposited funds. Select the product and service that I provided, charge sales tax if I need to, and save and close. Okay, so now you know what sales receipts are, why you would use them, and how to enter them. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, visit 5minutebookkeeping.com for the latest QuickBooks Online tutorials, and share this video with others.